All right, today we're going to talk about how to use Virtual DJ Studio, just uh, the feature on crossfading. So on the, on the crossfading, if we look down in these buttons here, we have Add and Remove Files. We have List Options, Sorts, Randomize, and Auto Crossfade. Auto Crossfade is what we're going to be looking for. If you notice, it's got a little yellow box to it. If we click on that, that yellow box darkens, and uh, that means your crossfade is off. So if we click on that again, the yellow is on. So if you're having issues where your songs are not crossfading, then that's usually the first place to look. It's going to be right there. Now, when I mean crossfading, what that means is when we play a song, I'm going to fast forward this a little bit, and when it goes from one song... When it goes from one song to the other song, it's going to do a fade. No space. Notice how there was no dead air there. It went right from one song to another one. If we didn't have our crossfade on, it would have sounded something kind of like this. We'll queue up our coming to our city. We're going to fast forward it back to where we had it at before, basically. Now remember, this one is without the crossfade. Our crossfade is turned off. Notice how there was a pause and a break in the music. We don't want that. That's bad. We want to keep going. We, we want to keep that energy up and keep the flow going. So we want to make sure that our crossfade, it's right down here. It's going to be the second to last button when you have a song playing. The very last button, the very last button is going to be the one that has us stop after every song. That way we can queue up a karaoke song. So make sure your crossfade is turned on, that the yellow is, is lightened up and not and doesn't look like that that means it's off that is on the other place that you want to go and check out your crossfade is going under options and if we focus over here we're going to see a new window so when we click on options it's going to pull up a new window and this is our program options and down here second to last we're going to find crossfade options what I like to do is I like to do trigger next song line when level reaches a negative 18 decibels. If yours doesn't say that, please make sure that it does. I have found that that is the best crossfade. Uh, it doesn't cut off of a song, but yet it's we don't have any dead air. So this should read, it should be clicked on that, not the top one where it says trigger next song line when three seconds remain. Because as we know, each song kind of changes. This is going to go off of trigger next song line when level reaches. That's going to go off of, it doesn't matter how much dead air you have at the beginning or end of a song, it's going to go off of its, basically its volume or if there's anything left on it. So that's going to give you the best crossfade. Trigger next song line when level reaches eight, negative 18 decibels. Well, that is it. That'll teach you how to do a crossfade. That is the basic setups. On your other ones underneath there, you have other crossfade options. Make sure it says ensure auto trigger when line is audible. Make sure always default to trigger, trigger enabled is off. And the last one should be fade out song when triggering or crossfading. So those are your settings. Make sure they're all set up to show just like this one does. Trigger next song, ensure auto triggering, and fade out song. Make sure those are all clicked. Make sure you hit OK and then you shouldn't have any issues. If you're still having problems, then that's when you need to contact us by a phone call. Thank you so much, and uh, go ahead and uh, make sure you pay attention. We'll be, setting, we'll be putting more uh, little YouTube videos and stuff like that on our uh, private MyDJKJ.com website for all of our DJs to learn how to use this software. Thank you so much.